Hi guys, so let me tell you what happened last night, sort of out of the blue, pretty unexpectedly. Right, Siri and McKellen played, um, played, like did some sort of stand-up audience with thing in bars last night. Um, and I've known about it for months and months and months and I tried to get tickets but it sold out like that. It sold out really quickly, obviously because Ian McKellen's awesome. Um, so I was annoyed at the time but I've moved on and everything. Uh, and then yesterday afternoon at about half past four or five o'clock-ish, the Barnsley Civic Theatre put on the Facebook page that they'd like, that he, as per Ian's request, they'd put on some extra seats at the side of the stage because there's quite a lot of room on the stage and he doesn't take up a lot of stage. So uh, yeah, there was like 30 extra seats put on and I managed to get a ticket. I did ask Lauren if she wanted to go but she was tired and, and she's got work and stuff so she said no it's alright and I went on my own which was pretty awesome. By the way, because I got these last minute tickets that were released only a few hours before like he actually took to the stage. Um, I got a seat that was really, really, really close to the stage. In fact, it was it was on the stage. Like, my feet were on the stage, the edge of the chair was on the stage. So, in, in sort of theory, I can say that I've shared a stage with Sir Ian McKellen. Right? I'm gonna count it as a yes. So, let me tell you all about Ian McKellen's um, tour. I want to say stand-up, it's not stand-up because I mean, it is funny, it's very funny, but it's not stand-up. It's like, just his life stories and stuff, and he does some readings, and then he does a lot of monologues, and it's just like, awesome. So I bought a program here, you see. Uh, it's called Ian McKellen on stage with Tolkien, Shakespeare, others, and you. Yeah, straight away you're involved in this whole, uh, this whole thing. And I've got to say, I paid £20 for the tickets, ticket, £10 for, for this, and it was all worth every penny. By the way, this spoils nothing by me talking about it, because I could, I could like say every word that Ian McKellen said last night, I could recite it word for word to you, and it does not have the same impact as like Sir Ian McKellen actually like speaking to you in the Sir Ian McKellen sort of voice it's like amazing anyway it starts off um obviously one of his sort of big main characters is gandalf from lord of the rings and he starts off by reciting the chapter where he fights the balrog the whole you shall not pass scene uh, which like is a great way to start the whole evening off and then with a the bound the balrog leapt full upon the bridge its whip whirled and hissed and at that moment gandalf crying aloud smote the bridge before him. You shall not pass! And the blinding sheet of white flame sprang up. The bridge cracked right at the bellock feet. It broke, and the stone upon which it stood <coughs> crashed into the gulf. With a terrible cry, the bellock fell forward. The shadow plunged down and vanished. Um, and I mean, he had the, the book in his hand to reference if you needed to, but like, he didn't look down once and this whole egg script was maybe six, seven minutes long and he just like knew it off the top of his head. So that was awesome. Then like, I thought, is it him just gonna be sort of reciting these sort of things, talking a little bit about, you know, his life and this and that. But there was like plenty of jokes and funny moments in. I mean, there was a whole bit where um, he was discussing when he was a pantomime dame so of course he put on this like scarf around his head he got a bag he really camped it up and he was a pantomime dame for a bit and like he threw sweets out into the audience and he was making like these terrible dirty jokes and it, it was just like pantomime season it was really funny never met my late husband donald j twanky <laughs> Time goes all hair and no wall. <laughs> 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 Come on, are you me? Thank you. Thank you. That's right. All the boys and girls, all the mums and dads,
All the ground suit girls, come on, wave and twank it. I tell you what, if you're aware of that, mate, I'll get you a speed. So yeah, there was that. I mean, the, the first half was primarily life stories and and sort of um, just about Ian, which is, you know, just mesmerising from start to finish because it's really interesting. He's done so much. He's met so many people. He's worked with so many huge names. By the way, Buddy's here. Um, the first half went on for about an hour and a half, which was much longer than I thought it would be, but that's okay because, like, it was really good. Uh, and then the second half, it was sort of primarily based around Shakespeare, because obviously Sir Ian McKellen is a very Shakespearean actor, he's been in a lot of Shakespeare plays, um, he's very well known for that sort of theatre stuff. So the second half was based a lot on on Shakespeare, which in theory sounds terrible because, you know, especially in England, you sort of learn about Shakespeare, you sit down, you do Romeo and Juliet, you do Macbeth, you do all that sort of stuff. Um, so in theory, having Ian McKellen talk to you for an hour and a half about Shakespeare, it's pretty boring, but it was fantastic. It was really good. Like the premise of the second half was um, Shakespeare did however many plays, he did a lot of plays, can't remember how many, but he did a lot of plays and he wanted the people in the audience to shout them out, he wanted everyone to guess all of the plays. So people start shouting out plays um, and then he'd pick up on one, say like um, King Lear and he'd be like King Lear right so he'd pick up the book of King Lear and he's got a, like a story about King Lear, it's about like being in it, about watching it, and then for pretty much all of the Shakespeare plays, he recited like some sort of monologue from the play. And they were like three, four, five, six minutes long, and he just knew them off the top of his head. And like, it was so good. Like, especially watching Sir Ian McKellen do it, because like, He's got that great voice and that gravitas and everything, and, you know, it's, it was just mesmerising. I said it, you know, in theory, having someone just read Shakespeare to you is pretty boring, but when it's done properly by someone who knows what they're doing, by someone who works in theatre, by someone who can do it actual justice, it is actually really good. So, out of all of the Shakespeare plays, he had a story and a monologue for about 95% of them, which is pretty amazing. So, second half went on for about an hour and a half again, maybe maybe a bit short, maybe about an hour. Yeah, about an hour. Um, and then, at the end, uh, he just sort of let everyone go and sort of greeted them at the door and said, you know, goodbye and stuff. He was collecting money because all the proceeds for last night, and all the tour that he's on actually, um, all the proceeds for last night went back into the theatre. So the ticket sales went back to Barnes the Theatre, the programme sales that I bought, all that money went back into the theatre. So it's doing it to help theatre get back on its feet again because obviously it's sort of a dying thing, uh, which I thought was pretty cool that it's helping theatre theatre grow again. So we're essentially doing this to a free. So, long story short, um, if you get a chance to go and see Ian McKellen, whether it's, it's this uh, on stage with Tolkien, Shakespeare, others, and you, or if it's any other opportunity to go and see and listen to Ian McKellen just talk, do it because he's such an interesting guy. And even if he just sort of stood and read the phone book, he's got one of those voices that's just interesting. He's an interesting guy, he's got an interesting voice. You can hear a pin drop when he starts to do his thing. It's absolutely amazing and it was really funny too. So yeah, like 11 stars out of 10. No, 11 stars out of 5, it was that good. With that being said, we're going to get gone. So we'll see you guys next time.